guys, it's me, Ursula Thomas, and welcome! <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Woo, Lord, welcome back to my channel, y'all. I know, I know, I did give y'all a little snippet, but y'all, nevertheless, I have been popping on Instagram. Y'all, I've been playing around with those, like those TikTok reels. I absolutely love them. So much fun, and anything that's fun for me, I'm more likely to do it. And that's the thing with YouTube. Lord, I'm getting off into it. Welcome to my channel. Hey, don't you know? It's a thrifting show. And all of my subbies that been down with me. Oh, you know I got much love for you. Oh, a little rusty. Anywho, y'all. I got all that out there. And listen, all my old subbies, thank you so much. Y'all been hanging tight. You feel me? Even the ones that follow me on Instagram be like, girl, we miss you. I miss y'all too, okay? All of my new subbies, thank you guys so much. And I do apologize to you guys. Now, listen, listen. Everybody, do me a favor right now. Stop, check, make sure you are subscribed. Because I'm going to tell y'all, not told y'all this for y'all. I have been watching people for years thinking I was subscribed because they was pop up on my notification. Wasn't even subscribed. I felt like I had committed a robbery. I felt... So bad. I was like, oh my God, let me hurry up and subscribe. I feel so bad. So y'all make sure you are not just watching, but make sure you are subscribed. And if you like the content, like, share, let's do this thing. You feel me? But like I was saying before, and that's the thing that happened with YouTube. I started feeling not overwhelmed, but like, am I really doing what I should be doing? Am I doing it? right what am i doing wrong you know all of this stuff and then i started playing around y'all with the tiktok reels and i fell in love and, and I, just share some of the things uh with you guys huh and this is just some now listen if y'all want me to come back and style up and all this stuff i will but today i'm just showing you guys a few of the things that i have thrifted i'm sorry it's, it's just i got glitter everywhere because i was trying to look because y'all know i i I'm one of them tubers, y'all, that I would just hop on high, hop on. I ain't got time. I hop on high, hop on. But I've been gone. I was like, let me give him just a little something, something. So I got glitter everywhere. We ain't going to talk about that. So anyway, this, I don't want it to be too long. I got a feeling it's going to be long. these thrifters starting to uh, dress just like I was like, oh, Lord, I hope not. <laughs> But anyway, I do find out that we do do a lot of repetition in the uh, YouTube world, thrifting world, or just video world. You know, that's just that's just life. And I see that you know, every, you know, printed thrifting my prentice board, uh, thrifting for fall, thrifting for fall trends, spring trends. Some you know, it's like a repetition of the same thing. And I did take some time off because I don't want to just keep giving you guys the same thing. I want something fresh, something new. You know, and I might throw a little older but a good in every now and then. But anyway, let's get into this video because I'm already like seven minutes in, five minutes something, and I'm still chat chatting. Y'all ain't seen nothing. So, like I said, guys, I have been thrifting and I've been thrifting for Poshmark. I have two big bags for Poshmark, but I'm not going to show you guys. Like I said, I'm not styling or anything today, but if that's something you want to see, leave a comment and the next video will be a styling video. But I thrifted these because of the bottom. I love the bottom. I love that wide uh, leg. It's not like wide leg, wide leg, but it's a wide leg. stuff, y'all, came from the bargain bun. But when I switch it up and let you know, I'll let you know what did and what didn't. Right now, the things that I'm showing you came from, I think, the regular thrift store. I got these. I absolutely love these. These are express. I got them because I really want to play up that orange. I seen an orange uh, long blazer, a Zara blazer at the bargain bond yesterday. Somebody had messed it up and I started to get it in diet. Because of this pandemic, y'all, I have really been more so into comfort. So when I saw these, they are legging, they are stretching. I was like, these are going to be comfortable and I can style them and make them cute. Next pair I grabbed, y'all, is a suit. So, I'm going to just go ahead and show you the suits. Because I've really been into suits, y'all. 
and I ain't wore one yet, but I just, the aesthetics of it, I just love it. So I grabbed this from Salvation Army. So this is the jacket. Now I love the jacket and it is a man's suit because it looked blue jean to me and I automatically thought, oh my God, I could wear this with so much. It does have gold buttons, but I actually love it. So I saw the pants and I feel like the pants have been uh, taken up and the pants do have a lot of wear, but I do have that little machine from Amazon, but I knew I couldn't wear the pants. You know, the pandemic hit and your girl did a little something she shouldn't have been doing. But she, you know, I've been telling y'all this, you know, you get back on track. But, um, yeah, so I grabbed that suit. I actually love this. I can try the jacket on for you guys. I love it. I love the jacket. And it's not that that bad oversized. Like, it is oversized, but it's not like that bad bad oversized so um uh, yeah i could even you know do the thing if i wanted to but you know i'm one of them i like to cuff it and let me move the camera down just a little y'all gonna see my mess but yeah so yeah i grabbed it move it up just a little okay yeah i got a feeling this haul gonna be a little long so just bear with you like and that's something else i I like fashion, y'all, but I don't like fashion to the point where I sit up and wait for the new fashion shows and stuff like that. I just kind of see what's like, like oh, I like that. And now, like, go and find it for myself. So when I saw these, I thought, those are cute. And I could style it with a big chunky gray sweater, burgundy sweater, or whatever. So I grabbed this one for the color, and then it's like a mock neck, and it has those three I buttons. I grabbed this because I thought faux leather. I did. That's the first thing I thought about, faux leather. Faux leather shorts, faux leather pants, faux leather skirt. And I and saw I, this. This was new with tag. But what drew me was, the, like, the, the tiger stripes on the side. It's uh, very wide leg, and it has the sheer uh sleeves it's very 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 wide leg y'all and i always do find the best wide leg uh pants uh at, at the at the thrift store move along some of these pieces if you follow me on instagram you have already seen in the real idea uh but i found this it is almost like a patchwork it's like a man's leather but of course oh see i knew i was 99 cent now it does have let me show y'all this the only marking that i saw on it but i'm one of those people that that does not bother me because i feel like i can put on a big chunky scarf and you know throw it around my neck and you won't even know i can put a brooch right there you won't even know i can put this Shout out to said Depop because I used to have a Depop. Then I can say Instagram. It's going somewhere. It's going about pause. It's this suit and it was new with tags, new without tags. And it does have a cuff. I love stuff with cuff in it for some reason. Um, it's going on pause. Next thing I got, and I debated because of course I cannot fit the skirt, but the jacket I can. And it is a vintage leather chill, chill. That's why I would pronounce it. Two-piece set. I'm going to show you what the skirt looks like. And it's going up on pause. Look at that. Is that not cute? Is that not a... Oh, child. Oh, child. And it has like the crop. I'm thinking about just putting the skirt up on pause and keeping the jacket. I don't know. It don't look like nothing hanging. But I tell you... This is so cute. On uh, I don't. It's a. It's feel suede, but it's leather and it has fringe. This is so cute. On uh, but it does have like a little marking on the side. Now the the jacket can be worn with anything as well as the skirt. But when I tell you on, um, it is chef kiss, honey. It looks so cute. Next I got because I find so many blazers. I just got this black blazer and. It's leather, and I was finna say something else about this, but I forgot. <laughs> Talking too much, y'all. But yeah, it's going on pause. So, 
Next thing I got going on pause, and I know I said I wasn't going to show y'all because I got two bags over there going on pause, but it was in the pile, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you. Look at this. It, and it gives me uh, Janet Jackson, Rhythm Nation, and it's like a, a satin sheen. Look at them buttons. Ooh, honey, if I could wear this, I would put me some faux leather skinny bottom with some 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 of them booty heels with a beret, a turtleneck, and a, I. Fading am I gonna put this on posh or not? I think it's cute, and I I I love the sequence around the collar. It just pops it. But it's just a black blazer, one button with sequence. Love it. I I'm thinking about putting that on posh. I have so many blazers, and then we that ain't even worth talking about. Just a sweater, y'all. I found this. I love this. This was at the beans. Look at that. Let's get into the color. It's definitely, I do believe, possibly, I want to say uh, vintage. I often say thrifty. Vintage. Because of how it's made and the feel of it. And it is like a suede. It does have the matching skirt. Uh, I tried it on and it looks, as they said, looks. It looks so good. Yeah, this looks so good. And you could just, if even if you just want to do the basics, like with a black shirt, turtleneck, black booties, black boots, black, if you just want to do the basic of burgundy and black, she is so cute. I was so glad to find her. My husband actually found the skirt. And did he find the skirt or black? He found one of them. And I was just walking around, and I spotted the other one. I can't even remember which one was which. My husband actually bought me this, and this was at the Bargain Bun, I want to say. And it is just a, it's really, it's a plus-size long blazer. My goal is to wear it as a, I washed it, and it got something in it. My goal is to wear it as a dress or I'm going to put like some shorts under it, some faux leather shorts and belt it on, put some uh, faux leg and leggings under it and belt it. But yeah, that's it. And now we are getting into the purses. Oh, yeah, Lord, my iced coffee. Yeah, I had forgot. I knocked it down. Oh, that's good. Thank God it didn't spill. Oh, I got a sweater I forgot to show y'all. This sweater right here. I got all the sweaters from the bargain bun. And yes, I do love color. And this sweater here. I got them all from the bargain bun uh, the other day. Okay, now. I saw this, y'all. And I was, I was really torn. It was so dirty. But I'm one of those people, when I go to the bargain bar, I expect things to be dirty. I heard a woman, she had picked up some, and somebody was like, you like this? She was like, oh, uh-uh, that is so nasty. Anyway, so it was like dirty, y'all. But I just, look at, look at the handles. Y'all see the handles? And it was, I was like, did somebody make it? I don't know. It was just something about it. And I've been blessed like that. Uh, just, I can pretty much look at something. I'd be like, oh, that's, that's a good one right there. Uh, I also want to talk about two. Still, I ain't videoed in a while. I'm trying to talk about everything at once. I want to talk about two because it seems like everybody now is just overindulged in luxury. And I'm not saying nothing is wrong with that. But even people I used to follow, that used to thrill, now it's all about luxury. And nothing is wrong with that. You know, unboxing this luxury and unboxing that luxury. Nothing is wrong with that. I have bought a couple of luxury pieces. But, you know, that's just because I wanted it and not like, oh, I got the show. You know, I just, and I'm not saying that's what they're doing. I'm just saying, but I'm still a thrifty at heart. And I have thrifted so much nice luxury i have thrifted because i noticed like it's like when they get off into the luxury it's like i don't know it just seem like they don't thrift it i don't know anyways that's just me rambling but anyway i found this and i feel like it's such a unique piece uh i do have to wash it again because to me i still see like a few little dirty marks but oh my god i just thought this was so cute so next thing i got y'all is this because y'all know i do teach at my local church 
And I just thought, y'all, this is so, when I spotted it, I'm not doing it right. Something I'm doing wrong. What am I doing wrong? Anyway, when I spotted it, because I'm trying to really show you. Oh, okay. I'm trying to make it go further than it go. Look at this. Don't that just look like class? That just look like, ooh, she got class. And it is Bessie Johnson does have feet, but it was messed up in the back. This was all ripped. Child, that go to my sad. I brought this home, glued all that stuff up, glued all it up. I did, yeah, that's what I said, glued all it up, and started carrying this. I love that, and that one but two bucks, y'all. Then I got this little number, just to throw on sometime when, you know, you don't want to carry no purse. That, that was a dollar. I got this, and I know it's vintage, but it gave me... It could easily give you like a, I'm sure it's probably an Klein. Why didn't see Ann Klein on the inside? I do need to wash it and clean it. I mean, I do need to clean it again. But it does have the lion and the gold chain. And I'm going to tell you something. This was all tore up because it's vintage. Now, the inside is a little dirty. I ain't going to tell no tale. But who, I'm not walking around carrying it like this. If I'm walking around carrying my purse like this, some, some, a. Hey, so anyway, this was this was nice, intact, wasn't dirty, nothing. It was this, had torn away. And y'all heard of Gorilla Glue? Mm -hmm. That monkey did the thing. So anyway, and there she go, two bucks. Next thing I got, I'm, I'm gonna have to bend y'all. I got this little number a couple of days ago, and I really got it for my grandbaby. It's just Kate Spade as a little bow. But if she don't want it, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, like, for when I'm just running around, just want something kind of dainty and cute. I don't know. But she was actually, the price is still on her. She was actually $13, and I thought it was worth it. So, can y'all see that? I got that. Next thing I got, and and I know they fighting to make a comeback, but I, and it wasn't about that. I just thought it was cute. And I thought, because my husband said, we're going to the fair. And I thought I could put my card hold in here. And I don't know if my phone fit, but I knew I could put my card hold in here. Look at that. That was just cute to me. And it's just like a little crossbody. And uh, yeah, she was $6. So yeah, I got her. Then I got this because i think i'm gonna sell this and this was 7.99 but i thought the color was perfect for fall and it's almost like it's new guys i hadn't took the tag off so that's why but it's almost like it's new it's like they spilled something down in the inside of it, like shoe polish or something and then look like can y'all see it and then like it said oh i don't want it no more but the outside is immaculate. I'm just going to clean the inside up. I don't know right now. It's a fossil. So, I don't know right now if I'm going to sell it or keep it. But, yeah, because I have, you know, purses. Uh, next thing I got, I'm going to have to be in y'all. Oh, forgive me, forgive me. I got some books. One of the books I got is not... For the strong or not to the strong i got put that down two i got let me talk about this one first the word in life study bible then i got two of these the journey the reason i got two of these is because a lot of times when i read something i be trying to tell my husband about it and then he has to wait till I get through reading it. And then I have to give it to him. And then a lot of times he be done forgot. He might be in a lost interest. So I figured this way we could both read at the same time. Compare notes. See what God is giving him. See what God is giving me. Sit down and talk about it at the same time. And then we can bless somebody with one of them. Then I found these Spanx. I if I can find brand new Spanx at the thrift store, they'll got. I got these from the regular thrift store. The books came from the bargain bun. And yeah. So these are some spanks. They were three two ninety nine. Yeah, two ninety nine. 
don't know if y'all can see that spanks. And a lot of times what I do, is I don't wear the stocking part. I cut that part off. And just wear those parts when I need the extra. Hmm. Okay, now let's move on to what's over here. Oh, my God, y'all. I have an outfit in mind for this. Now, somebody probably going to know. This is going to be a long video. I'm sorry, y'all. Somebody probably going to know what this is. But I didn't. But I know what I'm going to use it for. Look at this. I have a long maxi dress for the fall. I'm going to take some photos. But this is going to be my purse. It is wood. This is leather. It does have like a little hinge right there. You open it up. It done snag my sweater, y'all. You open it up, and this part here is like suede. I'm sure somebody's gonna tell me what it is. Look at the bottom. Yeah, I'm carrying this as a purse. It'll be funny if it's a vintage doctor bag or something. But anyway, I'm carrying it as a purse. And the handles are leather. I paid $10 for it. So I got that. Snag my sweater. Next thing I got is this, which I think will go perfect with this. Let me add a bit down. Look, y'all. Is that not... When I show it to my husband, I... let go. Let go. You had your turn. Let go. You had your turn now. When I showed it to my husband, he said, Line of Judah. Y'all, this is leather. The buckle. When I tell you, it's so heavy. Eee. She heavy, y'all. Look at that. Is that not... Can y'all see? Do I need to... I got on a sports bra, so they hanging a little low. Don't pay no attention. But is that not... Ooh-wee. Mm-hmm. She was $2.99. I normally pay $15 for my belts, but she was $2.99. Then I got this. I'm just assuming it's a belt. Um, it's faux leather, and, it got, and I don't know if you take that through there. And I'm wearing it as a belt, and I thought it would hit, like, with that perfect, like, say, like an all-black sweater dress or something, and you want to pop a color. Next thing I got is these. I got these for $2. They the own cloud. Uh, they do have a little damage right there. Like I said, child, I'm wearing socks. That, that don't bother me. So, yeah, these was $2 in, in good condition except that. Next thing I got, I got to tell y'all a quick story about this. I've been looking for a leather blazer. Not coat, not jacket, but a blazer. And I wanted the oversized. I went to the regular Goodwill. Found it one price. I took it to a woman, and I guess she wasn't having a good day. She was like, well, that's going to be uh, $29.99. It's leather. And I was like, well, normally my jackets at the Goodwill, I go to, they be like, lightweight jackets, $5.99, heavyweight jackets, $10.99. So I was thinking, I mean, $9.99. So I was thinking, $9.99, not $29.99. So I was like, well, that's okay. I don't want it. I went back again. It was the same jacket, on still fold up, and everything was still back there. So I said, you know what? I'm going to try it again. I got it again. Went up to the, because I have favor on my life. Went up to the rest and she said, oh, that's leather. We, we charge $29.99. So I'm like, this must be something new since the pandemic. I don't argue with folks about what they want to charge. So I said, well, okay then. So I was like, don't worry about it. I don't want it. Me and my husband, my husband said, we're going to the barn. So I told, I said, well, we passed this particular, I'm saying in my mind and tell him. I said, well, we passed this particular goodwill. I said, if he stopped, I said, and they see, I said, the first time I knew was going to look for that jack. I said, they got that jack. I said, I'm going to try it again. Y'all, we went on to the barn. We passed the good, no, regular goodwill. I walk in the barn. Something throwed across the clothes. I look and I see. And I was like, do it belongs to that lady? Who is what is? I picked it up, y'all. It was the same identical blazer that I had been trying to get from the regular goodwill. End up getting it at the barking barn. It is an oversized men blazer leather. I pay less than $4 for it. Child, don't tell me it ain't a message in there. It's a message in there. It's a word. That's a word. Patience. Patience, baby. Patience. I would overpay if I had to be patient. Patience. Now, look. I love it. I love this. I can belt it 
with some faux leather shorts, faux leather uh, uh, pants, leather pants, leather shorts. I, oh, 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 my God. Let me let y'all down just a little bit. Don't, don't pay no attention to the mess. Y'all, oh, I can belt it. I mean, it's the same exact one. And I told my husband, I was like, I told my husband, I was like, now, what if I had to be impatient and pay $30? Let me let y'all just a little bit. And pay $30 for this. When God was trying to give it to me for less than that. Y'all be patient. If it's something you want, let y'all just a little bit more. Be patient and trust God. Okay, that's my message for today. Moving right along. Got another story. So, um, but since I just gave y'all that story, oh, y'all, this video gonna be long. I'm sorry. Let me show. So, anyway, I found these all this week. Okay, we praising him. Oh, uh, of course, y'all remember these. Were, okay, these was all the raves. Okay, y'all just let the bird praise the Lord on the video. Just let him praise. I love Ugg and Bear Paw. Those are my favorite because of the cushions. That's the I love these as house shoes in the winter time. These are the perfect house shoes in the winter time. So the sparkly didn't bother me. I, you know, I feel on the inside, you know, cause you got to clean them up and the cushion and everything was still good. So I grabbed them for two bucks. Okay. Then I have another pair that I have worn there in the car. Cause I keep a pair of boots. I keep a pair of sandals, a pair of boots and a pair of gym shoes in my car. I just do. So the ones in my car were some brand new, uh, bear paws and they like a blue sequence they are cute and i paid 9.99 for those from regular good weed. then i got these these are just some black y'all basically brand new bear paws and i grab those i love those in the winter as house shoes y'all i don't want to i don't wash these and wore these and my granddaughter think they are hilarious she was like grandma please don't wear the old folks shoes I was like, girl, they comfortable and they trendy. But I love these. I actually went walking in them, y'all. They are some walking shoes. They some New Balance walk. They, they, they walked it good. They, they walk, they walked it good. So I'm like, not only are they, but they walked it, they walked it good. So I grabbed those. These were two bucks. I was so glad to find them. Now here's my other story. I all my Poshmark stuff over here, but I was debating where I gonna put these. Where I go? Where I, where I go? Just take it, y'all. Just run with it. Where I gonna put these on pause, my or not? These are comfortable. They were brand new. I had never really heard of them. I looked them up, and they run pretty good. They pretty decent price. So, I want one time to check them, to check them out. Okay, check them out. This part is like a sweater. That's what it is. It's like this part, like a sweater. Um. They are pretty good. So, I'm, I, I have like a whole gym shoe collection now, y'all. So, ooh, and I got so many boots on down. I already put them on Posh Mark. Now, uh, and the people that have been following me for a while, you know my, and I'm thinking about changing again. It used to be Find Your Fashion With Me. So, that's my park. That's my Posh Mark is at Find Your Fashion With Me, UT. This is my, this my jam, y'all. I have been wanting some white boots. Couldn't find what I wanted, or they was. I wanted some vintage one. I, I got some now. They're vintage. They're in my car. They got a heel on them. I want some with not a heel on them. Y'all, I found these. Now, let me tell you the story. They look like Major in March, and like you just. These things were so filthy. It's like somebody, I don't know if they got them for a costume. I don't know what they got them for when they got through. Look like, like they, they, they rode on them, they threw them in the mud. They uh, uh they get had mildew. I don't know what they didn't do to these boots. They were hard messed up. Hard messed up. They had a hard life. They had a hard life. I told my husband for two dollars, I'm gonna try. Now you still can see some of the imperfections. Can y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see that. That's like the long ink thing. Uh that one right there, y'all see that? I clean these, y'all, and I'm 
They still got some stuff on them, but they are good enough where I like Because I'm not one of the people that, oh, it's a mark. I don't like They good enough. I told myself, I said, when I saw them, I said, if those fit me, I'm getting them. Now, I'm telling y'all a secret. When you go thrifting at the bonds or something, take y'all some anti-sanitary wipes. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You wipe your hand. Take them. So, you see some shoes, wipe, wipe them out and try them on. They are tad to be. I wear eight and a half. They are nine. They are, they are slight big. Ain't nothing a good thick sock gonna do. Yeah, when I tell you, I can't wait to style these up. If y'all want to see me style them, if that's the only thing y'all want in the next video, style them white boots. I'm gonna do it for I give you about three of them. I might get generous, give you four. Who knows? But if you want to see me style these in the next, if you want that to be your next video, honey, just say it. Just say so. Ooh, I just feel like, I just, oh my God, I just feel like singing. I just, when I look at them, because I know I have been wanting them, and, and, and the Lord blessed me with them, and, and oh my God, mm, woo, I feel it, y'all, I feel it. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, okay. Ooh, I feel them, Lord. And with that being said, y'all always know to be the solution to somebody's problem. I don't care how many times I change uh, uh, names on the channel, how many times I change the intro, the outro, the note go, the boho, the be here, we be all, whatever. I'm going to always end with be the solution to somebody's problem because that's why you were created. Everything you went through, you did not go through it for you. You went through it to show that God is victorious in your life so you can tell somebody else that he would be victorious in their life. You got to trust the process of who God is, what he is, how he's working it out. Even though you know, you know faith is the thing that you do without even knowing it. It's when well, you say, well, what you mean? Faith is the substance of things hoped for. And the evidence, see, evidence is something you, I didn't build a case on you, cause why? Cause I got, I got proof. It's the evidence of things not seen. It's the proof of things not seen. Your faith is going to give you the proof of the things not seen. So you might don't see it, but if you got faith, that proof is going to bring it to you. Okay? Okay. I ain't on here to give you no sermon, but I'm going to give you a sermon. Okay? Okay. With that being said, I love you guys. I'm sorry it was so long. I'm going to try to cut it as much as I can. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see me style any of these things that can very well be the next video, just let me know. And with that being said, mm -hmm. bye.